Hi everyone, Angie Robertson here with Chic Space. Are you like me and have stacks of paper laying on your desk, maybe some bills that you want to pay? Well, I'm going to show you a way to have a really great wall feature and also get rid of these stacks of paper because I know for me, out of sight is out of mind. So check out my new project that I just finished. So here's a great project and I was inspired by Holly Bond of C. Jane Work and she had this on her wall when I featured her space in my on the Chic Space online magazine. And what she had on her wall was she had several discs, um, round discs, and they each had a number on it, 1 to 31, and it represented the days of the, of the month. And it was like a month wall calendar, but it was a kind of a cork board so that you could put special documents or bills or anything that was due on a specific day of that month, you could put it on that month's uh, circle. So I decided to do replicate that same idea and I went to IKEA and IKEA sells a pack of three of these cork, round cork, they're for trivets for your kitchen, but they sell them in packs of three so I bought um, several packs to equal 31 different discs, of course I'll have a couple left over, and then what I've done is I've primed them. So I've got some up here, you probably can't see very well, but I've primed them. So I'll just show you what I did. So I took some, just some regular primer paint, um, and you want to do that because it, this is a porous surface, so you kind of want to seal it up. And so all I did was just paint on the primer. Just get it good and on there and just slather. And don't worry about filling in the holes that are on there. Um, it, you know, it's okay if it has some holes to it. So then all I did was just prime it. And then I'll go back and I'll paint it um, with the color that I want. I did a few here without primer. And this is why I suggest doing primer because the color isn't real true. Um, because the brown from the quark's coming through. So my lesson learned, I, I need to put some primer on it. So that's why I've gone back and I've decided I'm going to prime these. So you just put some primer on it. It probably takes about two to three coats of paint, depending on your paint color. Um, but uh, this took, this was two coats of the pink. Um, and I did, I'm not happy with the results. It's real dark and I'm not happy with it. So I'm going to go back and do it over again. But this is, so I decided to prime it. But once I get that done, then I'm going to put them up on the wall which I'll show you a shot of my blank wall that I have. And then that way I can have a nice cork board to put my anything that's due on a particular day of the month that I need to be able okay, to. Okay, so we're going to do the numbers now. On to, we've already painted our um, little discs. So there's what the finished product look, looks like painted. I didn't paint the back. There's no point in doing that. So that's the finished product. So now we need to do numbers and put the numbers on here. And there's a couple of options that you have. You could get some vinyl numbers which I couldn't find any large enough for the space and they were quite expensive to get them custom made. Um, so the next option would be to stencil, which I'm not a very good stenciler, so that didn't work for me either. So the other option I did was I just went on my computer printer and got some um, cardstock paper and printed out my numbers and then cut them out. And then I just got a ginormous glue stick. And so what we're going to do is we're just going to take the glue stick and we're just going to cover the back of the number And just be sure to spread the glue on liberally because you want a lot of glue on there. So I'm going to put my glue back and then you just take it and you place it on. Just kind of center it wherever you want. And the great thing about doing it this way by putting the um, glue on and, and pr printing out your numbers is you could do different font styles. For me, I just want all the numbers to be the same. I don't want anything de derivative from what I've got here. So now the glue is on. What you'll need to do after this is you'll need to put something heavy on it to keep this pressed down just for about 15 minutes and then the glue will take and then it'll stay on. Um, and so then that's the finished product. So the next step would be to, we're going to need to hang these. And so my thoughts were I could put a lot of nails in the wall and hang them that way. I could put a hook on the back of here. But then that's 31 holes in my wall. <laughs> so um, thanks to Command, they have these great command strips that you, you've you probably seen the commercial, where it releases, it just sticks to the wall, and then you press this tab, and I've got some open here. You'll just pull this little tab, and it comes off the wall. 
And so I've just got these command strips, and I'm going to stick it on the back of these, and then I'll just stick them on the wall, and then that way if I want to move them or I get tired of them or whatever, because obviously I change my office a lot, then what I'll do is I'll just pull these off, and I'll have no holes in my wall, and, uh, and everything will come off clean. So hopefully this will give you some inspiration. Um, I'll come back and show you what the finished product looks like once I get all the numbers cut and glued on. I'll show you the wall and show you how everything looks. So okay. So I'm about to reveal the fin final product of the bulletin board uh, monthly calendar. So I'm holding up my business card so you don't see it. So here we go. Are you ready to see the final product? Ta-da! There it is. So everything that I did, all the painting of the little cork square or the little trivet round cork things that I got at Ikea, to printing out the numbers, to gluing them on, to putting them on the wall. Everything is done, and as you see, here's the finished product. It's numbered 1 through 31 for the days of the month, so that you can put things up there to remind you. So say if a bill's due on the 31st, you can put that bill up there, and then grab it and go to your mailbox and pay it. So it's really great. The thing I love about it the most is it really br was another way for me to bring my color in here without painting the walls pink and green and brown, um, but it also took up a lot of space on the wall, so I didn't need a piece of artwork, and it was very inexpensive. Um, I think all total, I think that for a pack of three of the trivets, it was like four bucks for three of them, and so I had to buy, what, eight packs, I think, um, had two extra left, and then the paint, um, Lowe's actually has these little jars of sample paint that you can buy, these little pints of paint. There are little sample paint samples in any color that they started selling. And so I bought one in pink, as you can see on the top. So I bought one in pink. I already had brown paint from when I painted the walls brown, or painted one of my walls brown, so I had some brown paint left over. So I was able to paint that. The little pint of paint worked perfectly fine. It covered all of those numbers that I painted. It could have done all of them if I wanted to. Um, and it took two coats of paint per per trivet, and then I printed the numbers out on just some cardstock, so that was pennies there. And then the glue stick that I used that was cheap. And then the um, 3M tabs, which I don't have any more of, but um, the 3M tabs. I just bought the tabs that you can stick on the wall and you can take them off later that I showed you earlier. I think those were like for a pack of four or eight. I think it was a pack of eight or something like that, they were like four or five bucks. So it was a very inexpensive project to do. I mean, you know, we're talking, what, $50 or something like that. If that even, I'd have to add it up. But um, very inexpensive, but really a dramatic appearance and, and really took a lot of space. So hopefully you'll take this project on yourself um, and you'll be able to do that and make it on your space and be able to utilize it. And I hope it gave you some inspiration. Also, be sure to visit us on the web at www.chicspace.com. In the meantime, be sure to make your space a delicious space.